Hey guys, welcome to Geek Devotion, a show from a couple of devoted geeks who are devoted to letting people know that they're loved. How you doing? I'm Dallas Mora. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe buttons down below. Also, check out all of our social media. Uh, we got a Twitter, Instagram. Again, all the links are down below. Now, before we really get into this, I want to give a special thank you to one Mr. David Hockaday. Last week, whenever we posted up the video, we did a really quick tweet that went out on Facebook and Instagram. This is why you should follow us. And we said this, hey... We want to give a shout out to anybody, to the first person who comments on our video. And David Hockaday was the first person to comment. So, hey, David, good job. Appreciate you, buddy. If you don't know David, you should check him out. He has his own company where he makes really cool jewelry. He takes a piece of wire, and in like in five minutes, he bends it and shapes it to his will, and it becomes a beautiful piece of artwork. It's really pretty cool. I call him a wire bender. Yes, I really do. So, check out David Hockaday. Again, his information is down below. Here also, we did an interview with David at uh, GeekCon two weeks ago now, I believe. Link should be up here on the card. This kind of card pops up right here, and links down here. So now, before we really, really get into this, one last thing: we're gonna have another contest. But I'm gonna tell you about that contest at the end of this episode. So stick around. Let's roll that footage. <laughs> Have you ever been watching an anime or action movie and the sound effects seem to be a bit late? Or the voices seem to be just, there's something strange about them, like they don't quite fit to the mouth that's speaking. Oh my god. You've got it. More than likely, these videos have fallen victim to poor dubbing, whether done on purpose or on tragic accidents. The dubbing wasn't done right. Now, the general method of doing it is what they call lip sync dubbing, where they go in take the audio out and then they give new voice actors a script and they then re-record what happened in that scene and they try to match the words to the mouse as best as they can, kind of like Millie Vanilli and Beyonce. Sometimes these are done really good and sometimes not so good. Now there's a couple ways for them to do this, but the cheapest way and the one that you've probably seen the worst of is what we call lock to picture dubbing, where basically it takes segments and they have the voice actors watch them over and over and over and over and then they just try to repeat the words and make the timing work as best as they can. We actually did this last week at the end of our episode when we were promoing this week's episode. I had Celeste uh, just say a random slur of vocabulary and then I went in later and we recorded her dubbing over. So yeah, I mean it's, it's a pretty simple process but it can get choppy a little bit. And some of you thought my editing was just really bad last week. Like I say, when it's done right, it looks great. When it's done wrong, well, it gets awkward. I'm your father, and you're my son. From this day on, you live with me in my house. Understand? Yes, sir. Call me father. In our lives, sometimes we find ourselves in moments of, well, bad dubbing. We find ourselves doing things or saying things that are really very out of place for who we are or who we really want to be. We know from the scriptures that it says that out of abundance of the heart, the mouth actually speaks, meaning what's in here comes out. We also know from scriptures that we are often warned to guard our heart because out of it comes life. But also because we're coming out of our mouth, we know that the tongue brings life and death at the same time. And that's what's happening when we find ourselves in these moments doing things that are not right, things that we know are hurtful and damaging to other people. And we find ourselves going, why? Why am I doing this? Well, it's because we haven't guarded our hearts. We haven't taken care of this right here. So how do we do that? How do we guard our hearts? Really, what's in here is what we allow to come in through here and here. Now, I know it looks like I'm doing a really bad addition of head, shoulders, knees, and toes, but I promise you, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is, what we allow into our lives, it gets in here, and eventually we say it out. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I myself, on a regular basis, have to weigh the things that I'm involved in. The things I'm watching, the things I'm listening to, and I have to go, is this really good for me, or is it not good for me? Is it lifting me up, or is it putting me down? I'm not telling you that you watch one bad movie, and all of a sudden, you are the worst human being in the history of the world. But what I am saying is that if you continued on the path of watching and absorbing these things, reality is, 
we begin to take those characteristics on. And then you have to ask the question, is those characteristics the thing that the world needs? Are those characteristics that you're taking on the things that bring life, that bring hope, that bring, well, true, unconditional love? Or do they bring death and destruction to the people around you? Now, I know what you're thinking. You know, hey, Dallas, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? There's a plethora of things that are out there. You yourself have to examine them and go, is this affecting me and who I am right now and right here? And affects the people around me. Because again, what we're taking in will come out eventually in some fashion, in some form. One of my favorite quotes of all time is simply this. All things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial. Meaning this. Yeah, sure. You know, you could watch whatever you want to watch, but is it really good for you? Will it really help you in the end with your situation in life? If not, maybe you should examine that. Maybe we should cut it out. Now, I know what you're saying. That's really harsh because some of these things we really love. We really enjoy to watch certain shows or be part of certain groups, have certain friends in our lives. But if those things are leading us down a path of destruction and are causing us to say things and do things that are out of the character of who we really are or really who we want to be, then we need to make a change. It's not easy, but it's necessary. So I want to encourage you, if you're struggling with something, if there's something you need to give up, maybe there's a show that you've been, you've been walking through and you love it to death, but you realize that something's coming out, that you want it to stop, let us know. We'll be praying for you. Have a conversation with us. We really, really like having conversation with people. Just leave comments in the comment section below and let us know what's going on in your life. Well, guys, I hope you like this week's episode of Geek Devotions. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm wearing an entirely different outfit right now. And, uh, and it's for a very specific reason. It was... We're having to reshoot the ending for something. Why, why were we reshooting? Um, what? <laughs> oh, right! Something really cool happened. So uh, we were originally going to make this announcement. You remember that contest we said we were going to do? Well, um, we were, were, were speeding it up. Because here's the deal. We were going to do a contest once we hit 50 subscribers. And it just so happens that... Um, yesterday, the day after that we had filmed all this, yes. we hit 50 subscribers. So yeah, Woo! sweet, exciting. We're super excited about that. So we have a contest that we're going to do. And here's simply, here's a contest. All you got to do, go on YouTube and uh, make a video highlighting your geekdom. That's all you got to do. Just show what you're geeky about, okay? Make sure it's appropriate. Have fun with it. Now look, if you're not on YouTube, it's okay. All you got to do is this. Go on Instagram and uh, do your thing on Instagram, showing, highlighting your geekiness, and then hashtag Geek Devotions Geekdom. Got that? Geek Devotions Geekdom. There'll be something over here, or over here, saying that. I'm not sure where it's on the screen right now because I have edited this yet, but it's gotta be right here somewhere for you to do that. Somewhere. Yes, so. Over so the <laughs> exactly. All right, and the winner of this contest, we will choose randomly here in three weeks. I always say three weeks, all right? Three weeks from today, when you're watching this video, not when you're watching this, when this comes out, which will be Friday at 8 a.m., uh, three weeks from, from today, we will pick a winner at random. On camera. Yeah, on camera. So we're pretty excited about this, guys. So, and what will you win? Well, right now, all I know for a fact is that you will be winning a Geek Devotions mug. How cool is that, mess? Because coffee is live. Oh, I love coffee. So, but hey, we're planning to do some other stuff and uh, kind of sweeten the pot up a little bit. I haven't decided yet, but uh, that's what we got going on. So, yeah, so thanks for subscribing and being part of this geek community. And uh, keep sharing the, the love, keep sharing these videos. And um, is there anything else we need to tell people? Subscribe. Subscribe. Because who knows? Maybe we'll go a little crazier when we yes. hit 100 subscribers. Woo! Yes, indeedy. Also, don't forget to follow our Instagram and Twitter and our Facebook. Um, you get to see all kinds of cool behind the scenes stuff on our social media. So make sure you follow that. And there's awesome. We'll put out a random thing. So that's all from us. Hope you guys have a great and blessed day. Peace and love. Bye.